Oh yeah, this miner seems quite nice. Um, 700 mega hash, 12 RX 50, 700 GPUs. Let's see the current profitability. What's how profitable is to mine Ethereum with this mining rig? Wait, what? 45 US dollars a day? That can't be right. 117 days to break even on equipment? Oh, this this can't be right. And Ethereum is not even a new all-time high. Wow. Hey, 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 guys. It's always good to see you back on this YouTube channel. You are the ones who are making these videos happen. Uh, if you wasn't watching, I wouldn't be making these videos. So, if you are wondering why, why your Ethereum mining profits are so high now, I will get into the detail in this video and explain what's really going on with Ethereum, with the mining rewards, where are they coming from. You know, this is probably the follow-up video which I did a couple of weeks ago on my YouTube channel. So you can take a look on this first if you want. Uh, it is about hidden mining profits on Ethereum blockchain. So the profits are really crazy now and you know, the they are coming simply from uh, usage of Ethereum network and of the high gas cost, your know, high transaction cost, which is going on on Ethereum. So basically, if I want to send you Ethereum to you, I have to pay a transactions fee, which is calculated in Ether. So as more people using it, the transactions fees are getting more expensive and uh, there's more transactions paid every day. And today was a record high day where totally in last 24 hours there was paid 17.7 thousand ether in transaction days in transaction amount lately you know in my last video which i did a few weeks ago average day transaction fees was 5.5 thousand ethereum and currently you know yesterday it was 17.7 thousand um ethereum for transaction fees and this is why your mining profits has gone up so rapidly of course it's not sustainable as you know it's not sustainable to use such, such a high transaction fees to uh, tran tran transfer um, tokens around on ethereum blockchain or interact with contracts you know for transferring tokens is about maybe two to three us dollars so it's not that bad for a transaction but like if you are in interacting with some smart contracts or you know trading on dexes like uniswap uh, curvy you know these transactions could Transactions fees could be very high, you know, some cases up to even 300 US dollars per transaction. And it's not sustainable because of the normal average investor, uh, investor or retail investor, you know, can't afford to pay such a high transactions fees for the transactions. So this is where Ethereum 2.0 will come in. And, uh, you know, so we, have, we are already one foot inside the Ethereum 2.0 as there was... Uh, Ethereum 2.0 testnet already, public testnet already launched uh, for Ethereum blockchain in start of the August. So probably if everything is fine, you know, we will see hard fork for um, a staking contract for Ethereum 2.0 uh, in, in about roughly three months. But this is only first stage uh, for Ethereum 2.0, you know, you will be still, it, it's not going to affect proof of work, um, anything at all for the first uh, first uh, upgrade so you're wondering why there's such a high transactions fees on ethereum blockchain yeah there was a project called jam jam uh, which basically um, was launched in a unique way it's basically a stable coin but to accumulate this coin you uh, you would need it to stake um, you would need it to stake uh, your you know um, ethereum or uh, chain link or synthetics or you know many different assets compound maker you know and there was these pools staking pools where you basically lock up your assets and receive a jam jam tokens uh, in a reward for them and it was very unique because there was no pre mine and uh, you know a unique way of distribution you know which haven't happened before um, so that that brought a lot of attention and in roughly 24 hours, there was already invested more than 400 million uh, into these smart contracts. 
And uh, you know, this is what, this is what increased the high transaction fees because people got far more, you know, greedy. They want these coins. The coin went, you know, which is supposed to be one US dollar. The coin value went up to 150 US dollar, and of course, it uh, you know it failed. The project failed, you know, because um, on their website they even said that smart contracts are not audited, and uh, you know they found a critical bug, which basically. Uh, eliminated governance to work on this token and you know basically kill the token you know and the, the price plunged under one US dollar and it's basically a dead coin but luckily you know nobody lost the funds whoever was taking their funds you know the the guys only lost the funds who were buying the coin you know if you bought at 150 and then you know it fell down to zero you know you you, you are without nothing you know if you spend 1000 now you have not, nothing you know <laughs> simple as that um, yeah, unfortunately, these, these things are very dangerous. So I don't understand, you know, how can people invest 400 million, you know, in not audited smart contract straight away? You know, it's, it, I can't wrap my head around, you know, how early we are and how dangerous it is. And people still don't, don't care, you know, they throw 400 million, you know. I can maybe, you know, place my wallet address, you know, in a small contract and maybe launch a project and send the tell, tell everybody to send me 400 million, you know, that would be nice. Uh, so, yeah, uh, currently the, the, the gas prices are, you know, they are getting lower. They were 350 gwei, um in the morning. Now are they are, you know, a little bit over 200, which is still very high, you know, averaging, you know, last couple of weeks was about roughly 50 gwei you know it was a okay gas price but now it's 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 like four or five times more bigger and you know the transactions are very expensive but you know you know all the benefits from these kind of things is getting miners you know we are getting the get the highest reward for this you know because the fees that everybody pays the high fees you know to following in into these projects and uh and yeah what you get you get in in uh um, for this, uh, because you are supporting a network, you are mining, you're getting highly uh, high rewards. So, yeah, and the rewards are being crazy, man, crazy, you know. These are ones I remember only, only 2017, 2018, you know, when you could pay back your equipment in, in three to four months, you know. Uh, even like, even like you can see here, like, like six RX 570, which is supposed to be, you know, um, not very efficient, you know, because they use more power. But you know, hash rate, for example, six car rig, 180 mega hash, power 700 watts at 10 cents a kilowatt. Uh, you know, you'll still be making 12, uh, you know, 10, 10, 10.5 US dollars off for after electric price. And let's say this rig value, you know, let's say one RX 570 is is 150 euro so six that's 900 or so let's say with all the components thousand thousand three hundred euro calculate you can see 124 days 124 days that's sick <laughs> so yeah this this was the the, the the review you know if you i hope it cleared aired for you if you didn't know where the big big payday big paycheck coming from uh, when you are mining Ethereum, this is where it's coming from. And I think, you know, as I said it before, uh, Ethereum mining, you know, will be profitable, very profitable. You know, and I, I believe that in next year or so, you know, many people are saying that Ethereum is ASIC mining now. Look at the, you know, Silicon A10. Man, if you can, you know, pay back your equipment in four months, three to four months, you know, I don't see that it's an ASIC mining algorithm, you know, it's, it's, it's not true. It's not true. You have to be blind to uh, not see the profitability on the GPUs and uh, on ASIC miners because you know these machines, ASIC miners are, are extremely, extremely, um, uh, how to say, extremely risky investment because uh, um, their fault ratio is a lot higher. They are, um, they don't have any resale value if a newer machine comes out. If the coin changes algorithm, you know, there's many things you name it all. The GPU has, they are slightly more expensive for the price per hash, but they are a lot secure investment if you're investing in mining equipment. So yeah, uh, that being said, I hope this cleared an air. 
for a big paycheck incoming into your account and uh, comment down below if you enjoy the high uh, ethereum rewards like me uh, otherwise i'll see you in the, on the next video guys mine hardcore or don't mine at all